Hey, welcome back to another edition of Ego and Break. Uh, Mississippi Madman Logan yeah, Creed, Dynamite J. Andrews, and uh, today we're going to talk about a lot of different things. Uh, maybe a few surprises. I think I got a, something I'll throw on the old madman over here, see what he, uh, what he thinks about it. So uh, sit back, enjoy. Uh, see what our opinion is. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, right off the top, um, Jack Swagger made his uh, MMA debut with yeah, Bellator. Uh, have you... Uh, I didn't see the match, but I already, I already dominated it. Uh, it's on YouTube, Is it? okay. and uh, it's a short match, three or four minutes long. Um and this is coming from our uh, MMA expert, J.D. Jenkins. Uh, uh, he said that... We don't know how well Brock is at his stand-up game, striking, taking punches. Uh, as far as his MMA uh, debut was concerned, that we already knew he was a good wrestler, and uh, based on he being an All-American and that kind of thing, and that that's essentially what we got in the fight was uh, Jack took him down, took the guy down, and just uh, worked his way into getting a submission. So uh, it was definitely a lot of uh, ground and pound, uh, very little stand-up, take strikes, give strikes, that kind of thing. Uh, so he was he was successful in his debut, uh, but we have yet to know, you know, will it be something that he can do, you know. Uh, so no, there's clearly that. Clearly you can do it. <laughs> there's that. I, I attempted to watch it. Um, I'm one of these people, if it doesn't catch my attention the first little bit, I Brown changed the channel, to me is boring as and uh, it, so. yeah, so I watched about a minute of it, and I was like, yeah, good luck, good luck, Jack, I'll watch something else, <laughs> so um, I did, I watched something else, and that something <coughs> else was uh, NXT TakeOver Phoenix. I uh, still haven't seen uh, it. Phenomenal. Um, it's, I'm not going to say there was any bad matches, there was things that maybe I didn't like, but that doesn't mean they were bad. Um all in all, I think probably the best match. I'd have probably had to give it to uh, the Undisputed Era and the War Raiders. Mm. Uh, to me, that was the best. Um, followed closely by Ricochet and Johnny Gargano. And I even enjoy the Bianca Blair Shayna Baszler match. Although I, I wasn't really. Shayna has some some like cronies, some side chicks yes. or whatever that that are with her. Yeah. And uh, they did probably the world's worst run in. I mean, it was almost like <laughs> every time they do it, it was almost like calling uh, security down to the ring, yeah. you know, like it was really pointless. And to me, it took away from the match, it, it did time, nothing. Dude. The only thing it did was, uh, I don't even know if it done anything because, uh, waste time, yeah. Well, no, it didn't even do like it. I think what it was meant to do was to, to show that Shayna was trying to cheat. And, but I mean, if you try to cheat, but you you're unsuccessful, did you really cheat? You know what I mean? Like, there was no attack on her. She came, they came in, tried to attack. She like smashed them really quick, and it was over with. So, uh, to me, the run in part took away from it. But the rest of the match was solid. Like, I really dug the match. So, uh, it was good. Uh, Alistair Black, uh, Tommaso Ciampa had a really good match. Um, Matt Riddle. And Chris Hero had a really, really good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they're trying to present uh, Riddle because I don't watch enough of it. Yeah. But if they're trying to present him as a guy that uh, can get beat up without it affecting him, um, they did a really good job. Um, Hero proved why he should be there because he made Riddle look phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and, and Hero showed that, hey, look, you know, y'all may hate on me because of my size, but I can go with the best of them, and he did. Um, Chris so, Hero is like the Dusty Rhodes of 2019. Absolutely. I, I, I can see that. Um, he's definitely that guy that you don't think can do stuff, but he does. So um, if I had to give an MVP to the whole night, um, it would probably be uh, Hanson. Like, really? dude is phenomenal, man. Yeah. Like, uh, he's, one of, he's my favorite of the two. Uh, so... Uh, all in all, I definitely say take the time to choo choo. Take the time to uh, see NXT Takeover. So, like I said, my computer just quit on me, so I saw like the end of the Royal Rumble, and that was it. All right, well, well I haven't seen any of the Rumble, so uh, uh, the women's match was uh, Becky winning. The she won the Rumble or the Rumble, a match? The Rumble itself. Okay. She come out and uh, won. Who she at last eliminate? 
Well, you have no like, idea? I, I don't have a clue, bro. Really? Oh my God, Charlotte. Charlotte, okay. Yeah, most predictable ending in a freaking rumble. And then, uh, to me, the men's was, too. It was Seth Rollins and uh, Braun Strowman. Who do you think won? Uh, Rollins. No, yeah. <laughs> was that really? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I th it's better for Mania. I'm so yeah. sorry. The match with Braun just is not good matches. And you want your Mania main event to be at least a good match. Right. So, so what are we looking uh, at for a Mania main event? So far, it's going to be him and Lesnar. But they're doing the whole, what champion will he choose? So, it so what's be, his options? Right now, uh, Daniels or Brock. Daniel Bryan? Mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan versus Seth, that man, it would be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it be, could be good either way. Yeah. But they've done, this would be the third match between him and Brock if they do it. Mm. So. I got you. So that's probably where it's going. Possibly. Uh, uh, has really he beat Brock? Know. Yeah, that's when he won. The, remember, he, he no, cashed in with the three way that time. Oh, at, yeah. Uh, I didn't remember Roman. that. Roman. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I, he beat Roman, I think. I have no idea. I don't remember. It's been a while. But. Yeah. And then uh, the <laughs> other two matches was uh, Brock and uh, the Demon King. Yeah, Finn. Except he wasn't the Demon King. He was just Finn. Yeah. And they actually had a really good match. Uh, way better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be Brock killing him for like 90% of the match. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was like 50-50. Okay. He actually hit the stomp on him after the, off the top, and uh, he kind of landed on him with his back, and Brock grabbed him and put him in the Kimura lock. Oh, and typed cool. him out. I mean, because you didn't see the Kamara lock yeah. coming. It was a very quick submission. Well, if and you, it made a lot of sense. If you watched uh, NXT Takeover, you probably would have seen that that coming, because uh, I'm pretty sure uh, very similar uh, things happened in NXT, oh. where somebody hit something or went for something uh, off the top, and once they hit it, it was rolled into a into some type of chokehold. Mm, okay. uh, matter of fact, that was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was the finish for Chris Hero and Matt Riddle. And then uh, it was the finish for the, it may not have been the finish for Hero and Riddle, but it was definitely, they used it. And then the uh, Bianca Blair chick missed a 450 and Shayna rolled her over into the choke. Like she, she just moved over and then rolled right back on top of her for a chokehold. Oh, okay. So you literally saw very very similar uh a spot and a finish um all all in the you know so I understand here's my thing i don't i'm gonna skip it but why not okay why does wwe do that like you got two big shows two nights in a row why not do that every weekend you know i think if you do it so much it's no longer special but the, but you always have like okay nxt you beat the royal rumble Right. You always have people bitching about that. Yeah. And I'm like, if you separated two, it might be a little less likely. Yeah. Well, I think I think they're they're doing with NXT what they had hoped to do with Raw and SmackDown to be able to have, you know, two pay per views, two specials, whatever you want to call them now. Um. So I think you're getting that with NXT. Like it's that third brand. It's the second brand they wanted. You know what I mean? Uh, it's what it, they wished ECW would be, wish SmackDown would have been. They just realized how to make indie wrestling popular, and uh, they're succeeding with it. You know, I mean, it's it's definitely the WWE version of an independent wrestling company, and, and I really dig that. It's WWE. Right. The third part is they got the fans fooled, and they think it's an, it's an actual indie company, yet it's owned by WWE. Yeah, but... Who cares? Not the smart, Just enjoy it. You know, smart people know better. Yeah, but if you enjoy wrestling I and not enjoy care. complaining about wrestling, you I will like it. So, <laughs> um, well, let's let's talk <clears throat> about all elite wrestling. Oh, well, one other match was uh, Daniel and AJ and Harper come down and choke slam Dan. Uh, shit, AJ for the finish. So it looks like they're gonna put Luke and uh, Harper with uh, Daniel. Luke Harper. Uh huh. What well, well, it's not Rowan and Harper. Rowan and Harper. I said with, Rowan, yeah. So Bulgin Brothers and Yeah, Rowan come down and did check something. I said Luke. I'm sorry. So it's kinda Rowan. like uh but no, I think the Bulgin Brothers crap is over oh, is it looks it? like it. Thank God. It looks so stupid. We're both Thor. Oh, can't please haters, man. What can't please He come out look, he come out wearing uh Mick Foley's garb with the checkers and stuff that's what he looked like he literally looked like red-headed rick flair i mean not rick flair mick foley 
Oh. I'm like, so the whole Bludgeon Brothers thing was just a test. And I, was, I, you know, I actually like the look of the Bulging, Bludging Brothers or bulging whatever. Brothers? Yeah, bulging Brothers? I think brothers. that might be something you see on the AEW show. <laughs> so, uh, you shall rise. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But uh, AEW, <laughs> All Elite Wrestling, uh, you know, they're, they're, start, they're signing more people. Yeah. Um, and they're staying in... Uh, the news, let's put it like that. Uh, we saw all, you know, a lot of the, the main players in AEW, as far as the elite go, show up at bar wrestling and kind of cleaned house. And it was all unexpected. It was all a surprise. Okay. Uh, so that was that was cool. You saw uh, Cody and um, Brandy and Hangman Page and SCU and the Young Bucks. I mean, it was just all those guys were there. And it was all kind of like surprise, but it, you know, again, it was something that went viral and everybody had to see it. Wow, um, it's so viral, I haven't seen it. Yeah, uh, well, that's because you're a hater. Uh, uh, the bad, the AEW shirts, you know, you, uh, you're hearing about them being confiscated places confiscated or people forcing. Away. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, a lot of that, like, you know, if I didn't know any better, like, it's it's like let's let's see if we can't push this and and get footage from it so it can go viral so we can stay in the news so we can stay on the websites so that we can stay viral would you um, throw somebody out of your promotion for wearing an outside promotion shirt uh, no not really okay. but that's not my thing um so that's stupid that's you know uh, if they were there like doing something crazy then you know maybe but well, no i'm talking about um, wearing a damn shirt no because here's the thing it's on camera just don't show it well, you know I mean, even if you do show um it. I'm just saying, if there's something in the crowd you don't want to see, don't film it. You well, know? Yeah, true, but I'm just like, who cares? But again, I think it's all, you know, I think it's, you know, being blown into more, into a bigger proportion or whatever than it really is. I, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. Well, that's why I'm like, if it's so minimal of a situation, why is WWE making it look like a major situation by but, stopping it? It ain't like they're playing AEW kicks WWE's ass or something. It's literally an AEW shirt. Yeah. I don't know. But how many shirts did not get taken off? You know I, what I mean? I don't know. They took it off the uh, guy that was supposedly in second or third row. Yeah, and, and I think he was on first row, actually. What, no, I don't know. But I, so I watched the video. Was it was, I was just like, this is dumb. Yeah, it is. But I think it's just one of those like, hey, here's something we can pick up on. Let's push it. Let's, let's keep our name out there, which is smart from an AEW standpoint. Um, they signed Jungle Boy. I, I don't know a lot about him. I know he's worked some pro wrestling like gorilla stuff. Two matches, yeah. uh, they signed him, and they may or may not have signed Space Monkey. That was what I, the one I um, just saw earlier. Yeah. I, I, I think it was all ego. Ethan Page shared it, and it was like Space Monkey just signed a two-year contract to cut Cody Rhodes' grass. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what he was in, uh, meaning by that, but it was Space Monkey and Cody shaking hands. So I'm not sure if Space Monkey actually um, signed with AEW or not, but according to uh, Ethan Page, he definitely signed on to cut Cody's grass for two years. Sweet. So uh, go figure. Everybody needs a yard, man. <laughs> um, I don't like cutting grass. Cody, uh, I think they did another press conference type thing, maybe a smaller one, mm -hmm. uh, but they said if a wrestler is injured in an AEW ring, they will be fully covered. Their medical bills will still be yeah, fully covered. So... Uh, you know that's you know a step in in the right direction i think so uh that insurance type thing is something that's out there and uh i'll tell you since we're talking about wrestlers getting hurt and stuff there's a wrestler anthony stone i believe i believe that's his name uh wrestled in beyond wrestling uh i believe over the weekend took a double stomp off the top rope and uh, crushed his lung, broke some reels, broke his collarbone, like really foobarred this guy. Um, and, you know, gonna be in the hospital for a while, bunch of surgeries, that kind of stuff, I'm sure. And uh, so just remember guys, you know, this high re risk, high risk versus, it, you know, equals high reward sometimes. You know who's jumping on. You know, sometimes high risk equals high risk. You know, so uh, wrestling is dangerous. And maybe something you want to consider before you do something that's really stupid is, yeah, there may have been wrestlers that have done this move 50 times and I got hurt, but what if I'm the one guy that does? Who is he working with that did it? I don't remember. I like, uh, I, I just saw it pop up and like kind of oh. glanced over it. But, uh, 
really messed him up. You know, I mean, a crushed, you know, a crushed, a collapsed lung, broke ribs, broke collarbone. Like that's that's pretty serious uh, stuff. That's pretty messed up. So you, you uh, had to botch something major. Well, day. I don't think it was. I mean, think about it. You're laying flat on the ground, 250 pounds jumps off and lands on your chest with her feet. There's a way you deliver it though, where it's only a percentage of your body landing on it. Yep, but it's such a fine line. I that, understand. You, you know, ain't seen nobody jumping on my fat ass, <laughs> I promise you. One, one, you know, one hair, one thing mm. goes astray and you're done, you I know. I had my head set on. That was enough for me. Yeah, I've seen you set on people's heads, too. So, <laughs> hey. I told him. Uh, Umanga. But, uh... uh I, you know, I think I think wrestling is a lot more dangerous than people think. Nah, you know, well, that's uh, why I hate the word fake. Yeah, I mean, you, you you get caught up in this whole sports entertainment. This wrestling is my art. That you forget how dangerous yeah, it really is. is. You know, uh, Marco Stunt. You know, Mississippi's own. Right like, you, you know, he he did something that you know may it may or may not have been done a hundred times, but one oh one and it got you. You know, I saw him with a picture from the guy from the Handicap Heroes. Yeah. And he had his cane, so he's already back on his feet. Yeah. So that uh, is Marco was at the Southern Underground Pro Show over the weekend or last weekend, can't I mean, remember. I mean, I just which saw the uh, he came into the ring. He's on one one crutch, mm -hmm. so uh, he got into the ring and kind of like, you know, showed here I am. I am back, you know, healing and I will be back kind of deal. Um, very cool on that part. So I've told, I actually talked with that. Uh, yeah, what's his name? It's hard I can't think of it. The one with the messed up hand. Yeah, uh, Gregory Irons. Gregory Irons. But uh, I talked to him several times. He's a really cool guy. So. Yeah. He's just a long ways away. I wish he was close to wrestling. I'd love to see him on the show. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of guys I'd love to see on shows but can't get. I understand. You know, uh, once you add on travel, you know, and that kind of thing, it really... What's that movie with him and... Uh... Damn it. The Cop. Dick Justice. Dick Justice. Their movie that's on the online. Yeah, well, it's only like first part. Like I, I don't know, know if there's but it's still a, cool. Yeah, I, I dig the movie. Yes. Um, I'll, I'll tell you something I've seen. Uh, I think Zach Galwin uh, posted a thing like to, about the Royal Rumble where he was saying, so you say both feet must touch the floor. Hmm. Or something like that. And uh, somebody had commented, I refereed a, mat, a Rumble with Zach in it. And somebody in the crowd said the same thing, and I told him that his other foot was on the floor in the locker room. And never leaves the ground, so <laughs> yeah, I guess so. it's completely right. So, but, uh, hey, that could be a, uh, a way to win the Rumble, you know? Run it out there, <laughs> throw it in the ring, and then drag it some going out. Yeah, I saw a, uh, a little thing of how Kofi Kingston was going to, uh, you know, Get, avoid getting eliminated so they was going to cut off both both feet so they would stay in the ring they so. did like three spots like there was <laughs> two women that did it and then uh, Kofi did his mm, so I uh, mean it's cool to do but well, it's always a highlight you, you know? never win who cares yeah well, it's just that thing. Like he this, got it this from is John my spot. Morrison. Remember, yeah. Morrison used to do it all the damn time. Like this is my spot. I'm gonna steal it. This is what yeah. makes me. But I mean, I really look forward to seeing how he's gonna. But like his was the ugliest it. one this year. Was it? Like his look like what did he do? Uh, he kind of rolled out, and when he did, he landed on his side, and he kept one leg up, and then he slid the other one, and he rolled to the. Uh, stairs and went up but <laughs> there was one girl that did it and she literally walked a handstand yeah well he's done that before so but no 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 then she goes to the to the the pole and wiggles her way up uh, yeah that's pretty cool. that was actually good yep yeah, so kudos to all those that avoid uh getting eliminated yeah. in rumbles by any means necessary uh, march 2nd pro wrestling ego heads to mcgee mississippi uh, it's almost came full circle. It's it's kind of the birthplace of uh, wrestling for me at an independent level, and uh, now I get to bring uh, our version of sports entertainment, our version of wrestling is art, our version of professional wrestling to oh, McGee, Mississippi. So uh, looking forward to that March second at the McGee High School. Uh, it is a fundraiser for the Trojans. Main event: J.D. Jenkins puts his pride title on the line against Cody Vance. Uh, Cody Vance is is man, he's all over the place. So uh, I believe he was just in Ring of Honor a while back doing some stuff for them. And I think he's been on NXT and, and all over the place. So if you want to see a guy that's probably going to be uh, somewhere on TV within the next few years, 
Come see him take on J.D. Jenkins, also international wrestling star Ray Fury. will be in the house as he takes on Simpson County's own uh, Ursa Major. Little known fact that Ursa spent his formative years in Simpson County. So uh, we'll get to see a Simpson County uh, guy be there. Uh, also sure. Paul Wright, who graduated from McGee High School. He will be there as well, along with all the other great pro wrestling ego wrestlers. Uh, stars, Correct. fighters, athletes, Correct. superstars, That's awesome. uh, that kind of thing. So, uh, looking forward to it. Uh, anything else? Uh, wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, support uh, independent wrestling, support pro wrestling, support pro wrestling ego. Uh, like, share, comment, uh, ring subscribe, the ring the bell, tell a friend, phone, phone a friend, phone. Uh, telegram, tell a wrestler. Mail it in. Yeah, so uh, whatever you need to do, spread the word about pro wrestling ego, March 2nd. Uh, McGee High School, Simpson County, SmackDown. Later, guys.